My name is Thomas Moorcroft, tattoo artist from Brisbane. I'm 34 years old and I've been tattooing for 11 years. I've worked in three or four very reputable shops between Brisbane and the Gold Coast in that time. And for the last 18 months, I've been running my own studio in just south of Brisbane. The type of tattooing that I do falls under the umbrella of what people would consider traditional tattoos or American traditional tattoos. So it's the kind of old school imagery that's it's recycled a lot. The, the, the daggers, the eagles, the skulls, the roses, things like that. Um, there's a lot of people doing this kind of tattooing. It's very popular because it looks great forever. That's one of the important things about tattooing is that when you design a tattoo and when you apply a tattoo, it needs to be done in a way that will last as the person ages and as the tattoo ages. I've been able to do a lot of really fun and interesting things because of tattooing. I've been able to curate art shows, I published my own book a few years ago. All of my clients, or at least almost all of them, are very aware of the way that I do my work. So they know if it's something that they're interested in. So when someone comes to me with an idea or a request for some work, um, I'm, I'm pretty much able to do what I want because they know if they like the way I tattoo or not. You have to be very self-motivated. Um, there's no, if you're, if you're looking to gain some skills or some knowledge, a lot of the time it'll just come down to you being willing to apply yourself and create time to learn those things. There's no, you don't arrive at work and press the clock in button and start practicing. You, you need to make time and be self-motivated and learn and just always, I guess, push to be better. Tattooing is an art and a lot of the time I get to really experiment and I get to let my vision through, show through my work. However, it is still a customer service job and that's what it is for, uh, first and foremost. You're, you're getting paid by someone to do a job for them. You're providing a service and you need to be able to take criticism and take direction if someone has special, special requests for their work. Um, and that's, that's very important. It can, be, it, it can be pretty tricky if you're, if you're working in any form of art to take criticism, but it does make you better. And that's a very important thing to take on and be, be available to that. You have to be aware that getting feedback is the best thing you can get. Well, there isn't any formal training for tattooing, uh, apart from health certificates and infection control certificates and licenses to work in licensed studios and things like that. There's no, there's no TAFE courses or university courses or schools you can go to to learn how to apply tattoos. Um, it's achieved by essentially finding someone who's willing to mentor you and teach you how to do that. And the best way, or at least the way that works for most people to get into that kind of role where you can learn is to just be immersed in the actual culture itself. I didn't think that it was a legitimate uh, job. I, I only knew about tattooing what I'd heard about people tattooing. I, I, until I was spending time around it, and realised that they were people just like me who had families and jobs and they, you know, they were working just like anyone would work any job anywhere. I didn't really think that that was something that I could be a part of and live a full life without sacrificing too much. Um, I didn't want to miss out on being a contributing member to society and having a legitimate full-time income and working in something creative at the same time. Sometimes you think, you, it's, it's easy to think that you have to sacrifice those kind of things to, to, to be creative, you can't be legitimate. And that's not true. And that was a misconception about tattooing in particular that I had. And I'm, I'm glad that I figured that out when I did. When it comes to something like tattooing, tattooing is the ultimate luxury. So if your clients are having trouble saving money in their personal life, or they haven't got an income, that you're the first thing to stop, you're the first person to stop hearing from. It's like, um, no one needs a tattoo. It's truly something that people just get because they want. And that's something that you need to be willing to understand. There's, there, it comes with peaks and troughs. My current creative endeavor is having my own studio. You learn so much being in a room with a bunch of different people. Everyone's got different levels of where they're at in their career and how long they've been doing it and what kind of skills they're learning and what kind of skills they have that you may have or don't have. And 
being around good tattooing and good people is, it's like a cheat code. It's, it, I would never want to be without it. Thank you. Thank you very much.